Uh, and the thing, the thing that I always loved about it is it, it was the, the, the honesty and the realness uh, of the music. Uh, it's unpretentious. There's people talking about troubles. And it can, there's happy blues. There's, it always made me feel better. It happy it was, blues. Yeah. Even if you're singing about your problems, it makes you feel better somehow, you know? Now, now, see, I had no experience of happy blues. I thought blues, one? yeah, I thought blues was for being I sad. Happy, I have a happy blues for you right here. Got a sweet little angel. <laughs> I love the way she spread the wings. <laughs> Got a sweet little angel. I love the way. She spread your wings When she spread her wings around me I get joy and everything Okay <laughs> Yeah So now that's up That's up So it doesn't have to be down yeah. Now, Now blues is A kind of music that has its roots In blackness And here you are white guy, born in Beaumont, Texas, raised kind of in Mississippi and kind of in Texas. Are you supposed to be playing this music? I always, uh, you know, never seemed like there was a problem with me. It was something that, that, that just, uh, it, it, it felt, you know. I never really stopped to, uh, to think about, uh, are you supposed to do this? I, I'll never forget, though, when I first met B, I was about 17, and I was bugging him. Come on, man, let me sit in. <laughs> You know, what did MB you think of this guy? Well, it, it, it bothered me because we were playing in Beaumont in a black club, and here come four or five white dudes that one wanted to play. Irritating. <laughs> Irritating. So on, I figured it was the IRS or somebody. <laughs> in disguise. A real yeah, good but one. when they told me it was Johnny and Johnny wanted to sit in, and I thought about it. I first didn't want him to sit in. Uh, because normally I didn't allow anybody to sit in the group. And didn't then know if I, I could play or Then I, I, I didn't know if he could play or not. Let's take a break right here. Right. We'll be right back.
on this morning on my watch. Oh, okay. Tell me this. I'm going to switch around. We're, we're telling the people that both of you are being called legends for different reasons. Johnny, why don't you tell me why you think this man is called the king of the blues? And then, Vivi, I want you to tell me what Johnny has contributed. Vivi is, uh, ever since, ever since that I can remember, V was not only making records, I mean, uh, you, you wouldn't believe my stack of B.B. King records at home, something like this, and it's still growing. Uh, well, what has B, he done? What's B his special magic? B was everywhere. He's, well, he, all you got to do is listen, and you can tell that. Uh, you, you can, the guy is, is about the best blues guitar player. He's got a great voice. He's always there. I mean, you, you, you can't get no better than that. I mean, he's, he's a gentleman. He always shows up. He always plays a great show. I mean, I've seen him be a thousand times, and I've never seen nothing but a, a hundred percent all the time. So yeah. you don't ever give 95 or 94. It's always a hundred percent. Boy, if I was going to die right now, thank you, Johnny. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. Way to go. Yeah, what a way to go. And what, what, about, what about Johnny? He's lightning fingered. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he mm -hmm. he plays with all the speed of any blues play I've ever heard. And it's clear and good. He's got a good conception of blues, and to be young as he is, and a white boy, he's terrific. Mm -hmm. In fact, he's, a, <laughs> uh, he's like a light to many blues players. And of course, what can I say? He's fantastic. <laughs> B.B. King and Johnny Winter with